God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to God, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <coughs> the hours are passing swiftly by, and into night the shades will flow. So let us sing to God with joy the grateful hymn of praise we owe. <coughs> the burden and the heat of day have passed in working for our Lord. So may his vineyard workers all receive from him the great reward. Lord Jesus Christ, you call us now to labor for our recompense. Assist our work and grant us rest until your love shall call us hence. O glory, Lord, to you we bring, creation's true and only King, whom with the Father we adore and Holy Ghost forevermore. Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Rescue me, Lord, from evil men, from the violent keep me safe, from those who plan evil in their hearts, who stir up strife every day, who sharpen their tongue like an adder, with the poison of viper on their lips. Lord, guard me from the hands of the wicked, from the violent keep me safe. They plan to make me stumble. The proud have hidden a trap, have spread out lines in a net, set snares across my path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Lord, hear the cry of my appeal. Lord, my God, my mighty help, you shield my head in the battle. Do not grant the wicked their desire, nor let their plot succeed. Those surrounding me lift up their hands, let the malice of their speech overwhelm them. Let coals of fire rain upon them. Let them be flung in the abyss, no more to rise. Let the slander not endure upon the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to death. I know the Lord will avenge the poor, that he will do justice for the needy. Truly the just will praise your name. The upright shall live in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me.
With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord, I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape. Not one who cares for my soul. I, have, I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, wrap the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the tenth string. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes. Whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with yarn. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, to us, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. 
If the sun makes you free, you will be free indeed. You alone are holy, you alone are God. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would they refuse you honor, or the glory to your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this. Let him who thirsts come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You alone are holy, you alone are God. From St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. There is a certain wisdom which we express among the spiritually mature. It is not the wisdom of this age, however, nor of the rulers of this age, who are men headed for destruction. No, what we utter is God's wisdom, a mysterious and hidden wisdom. God planned it before all ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age knew the mystery. If they had known it, they would never have crucified the Lord of glory. Of this wisdom it is written, Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it so much dawned on men, but God has prepared for those who love him. Yet God has revealed this wisdom to us through the Spirit. Fear him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. and merciful Lord who wipes away the tears of those who weep. Let us cry out to him in love and ask. Lord Jesus, you console the humble. Be attentive to the tears of the poor. Merciful God, hear the cries of the dying. Comfort them with your presence. Make exiles aware of your providential care. May they return to their home on earth and finally enter their home in heaven. Be merciful to sinners who have fallen away from your love. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. For those who are sick, for those who take care of them, <coughs> for our old age, future old age friends and benefactors. Pray for all those who ask for our prayers for Mauricio and for uh, all those suffering from mental illness. Save our brothers who have died. Let them share in the fullness of redemption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God our Father, the contradiction of the cross proclaims your infinite wisdom. Help us to see that the glory of your Son is revealed in the suffering he freely accepted. Give us faith to claim as our only glory the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of July 9th. Memorial of St. Benedict. The Church has declared him 
a patron of Europe because of his contribution to Western Christian civilization through the diffusion of his rule and the influence of Benedictine monasteries, schools of service for the world. At Rome in the middle of the second century, St. Pius I, Pope, in the face of contemporary heresies, he proclaimed the word of God in good times as well as bad. The year of grace, 969, St. Olga, widow of the Grand Duke of Kiev. She introduced Christianity to the Ukraine by consecrating it to Christ and by calling for missionaries to come preaching. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was lost and hated. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Amen. Amen.